Hey guys, here's a little update on my homemade lathe. This will be video number two. Since the first video, I uh, secured these two blocks together using some bracketing. Screwed everything down so this is nice and secure now. I built that uh, face plate for the motor and I just need to get a few screws to secure it to the mounting holes on the front of the motor. And this bracket is made out of plastic and it came out of the vacuum. It actually mounted this motor where it went in the base. So I need a few screws to uh, secure that down. And nothing new over here. The real progress is this chuck that I made last night. So you can see it's made out of a flange that is half inch pipe size and a wood cutout that I made using hole saws and those two pieces are just held together with screws and the jaws that clamp the workpiece are actually just screws as you can see so there are four of them equally spaced and so I can clamp circular objects as well as square objects and this is mounted to some 5 16 threaded rod using a stop nut on this side and a washer and there's actually a rubber washer underneath that for uh, vibration and better grip purposes and the same thing on this side rubber washer for better grip and 5 16 is the size I chose for the threaded rod because it fits skate bearings perfect size for skate bearings which is what I'm gonna use to uh, distribute the load. So the next step is just to build the bearing holders which I'm gonna make out of wood. And I also, over here you can see this stainless steel rod. It's actually um, close to 3 8 in diameter. I think it's exactly 3 8 And uh, this little slide that fits perfectly over it is what I'm probably going to mount the tailstock to. So that is going to slide freely here and I'm going to have some sort of clamping mechanism to lock it down in the position that I want. And it has some nice little recessed mounting holes in there so I can mount it to the bed which is probably going to be a piece of 1x8 wood and yeah that's pretty much it for now the next step i'm just going to try to mount the chuck and i also had a couple more ideas for the power transmission i'm not sure if this plastic gear setup is going to work well because the gears are well plastic so i thought about just making a new belt system since i'm not too far in it won't be that hard all these rubber parts I have here are actually rub rubber and plastic. They're all actually 5 16 or 8 millimeter size, and they all fit on 5 16 threaded rod very nicely. So I'm thinking I can put all of these to very good use uh, regarding my power transmission, and I might get a better RPM out of them over these plastic gears and the setup I have going right now. But I will cover that more in my next video. For now, I'm just going to try to get the bearing situation set up. So that's it for now.